In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up and dispense an MDA instalment prescription. On the home screen, search for your patient and then click on the new prescription button. On the dispensing screen, change the drop down menu on the right hand side to FP10 MDA. Then search for the item in the prescribed item box and select the appropriate drug and pack size from the grid. Then enter in the prescribed quantity, this will be the total amount on the prescription, and then change the directions as appropriate. Then click on the instalments button at the bottom of the screen. Here you can see the 420ml has been split into 14 instalments of 30ml each. If you need to set the date for a future dispensing, you can do that using the calendar in the right hand corner. And then you can also untick any days where you're not dispensing to the patient. In this case, we're going to untick Saturday and Sunday when the pharmacy is closed. Then press recreate schedule and you'll notice the schedule at the bottom on the Friday. That's increased the dose to 90 mils. If you want this as separate installments, tick show each installment and then press the recreate schedule button again. You can now see we have three installments for Friday to be taken Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And on week two, the same again three instalments for the Friday to be taken on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. When you're happy, click on the OK button at the bottom and then click on the Finish button. You can now see all of your instalments in the grid on the left hand side. The top instalment is today's and that will be dispensed when we press the Dispense button. If you want to print all the labels at the same time, select the second option which will dispense that instalment, but it will also print all of the labels. In this case, we're just going to print the first one and dispense it. Once that's printed, click on the Next Patient button to return to the home screen. You'll now see that the item is recorded in the patient's record. The remaining instalments will be dispensed from the queue screen. Click into the queue and then change the Show Me drop down menu to MDA. This is currently set to show today's instalments. Because we've already done today's, this screen is currently blank. But if we move the calendar on to tomorrow, we should see the three instalments that are due on Friday. If you wish to see all instalments that have been done so far, you can also tick the show all instalments option. And this will also include today's instalment that has already been dispensed. To dispense one of the instalments, simply highlight it and then click on the Dispense Item button in the bottom left hand corner. This will allow you to dispense and print a label, or simply dispense it if you've already printed your labels, or mark it as not dispensed if the patient doesn't show up. You can also dispense all three at the same time. Simply tick the items and then click on the Dispense All button at the bottom of the screen. If you need labels, you can leave this option ticked. If not, untick it and then press OK. Once that's finished processing, click on the close button to return to the queue. If we now change the to date to Monday, we should be able to see the next instalment that is due then. Again, if we click on the show all instalments option, we can see all of the previous instalments that we've already dispensed. Let's take a quick look at how to deal with bank holidays when setting up instalment dispensing. Here we've got the same 420ml prescription split into 14 instalments starting today and the pharmacy is closed on a Sunday so we'll untick that day and then show each instalment and recreate the schedule. You can now see we've got two instalments for the Saturday, one to be taken Saturday and one to be taken Sunday. Now if the Monday happened to be a bank holiday, one way you might think we could do this would be to also untick the Monday tick box at the top of the screen as well. So if we do that and then press recreate schedule, sure enough, we'll then get a third instalment to be done on the Saturday for the Monday. However, this will also apply to the next week as well, where we also have three instalments for the Saturday and one obviously to be taken on the Monday. Let's put this back to how it was before. So we'll retick the Monday and recreate the schedule again. Now we're going to use the calendar instead. So to do this, you'll select the install date in the grid at the bottom and you'll see this highlighted in the calendar in green. And then all you need to do is click on the alternative date that you want that item to be dispensed on. So here we'll click on Saturday the 18th. And as you can see, the grid will update and we now have three installments for Saturday, one for Saturday, one for Sunday and one for Monday. 
And that's how you can set it up for a bank holiday where it only applies to one day.